Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. A lot of you have been asking for this for a very, very long time. Those of you who have been following us and it's finally happened. She's finally agreed. Yappy's actually going to do a video, but better yet, oh, we're going to start a whole new playlist. Yappy's happy. And it will air on Monday evening, five o'clock. If Yappy's got something that makes her happy, Monday, five o'clock, that'll be the time. Today, she's actually going to grace us with her presence and talk about cleaning the RV kitchen. So I'll turn this camera around and put her on and let her do the talking. All right, Yappy, you're live. Uh-oh. Hi, everyone. How, how are y'all doing? Well, I was telling dude that we should share some things that we use to clean our RV and things that we use to clean our RV kitchen. And of course, it, it really began with, I, my background is in restaurants when I first, my first career, should I say, because I'm in real estate now. I, we had to really be safe and protect the public. Sanit, you know, sanitizing things, things to not damage different types of surfaces, things like that is kind of where it all began of what we're going to share with you today. But it's really important because when you're out on the road, what happens is when we go and pump diesel in our RV, for example, it is sometimes a very nasty experience what we find at gas pumps. When we're on campsites, we've got picnic tables and things. And when you touch things, you can be contaminating things. And then in addition, I always look for things that are also cost effective. It saves us money long term or get the most bang for our buck. But one thing beginning of COVID, I couldn't find anything to disinfect or any wipes because as everyone knows, they disappeared if everyone remembers. Now you can find them. But with this new product, I found things that didn't have chlorine or formaldehyde or things that are terrible for the environment and us. And it's really important that we're really careful, especially on campsites and RV that we have disinfectants. We have things that don't damage your RV. Your RV is really sensitive. The, the leather, the pleather or whatever kind of leather this is on our RVs, these seats are real delicate. And when you use products that have a lot of these other things in them, I can't even pronounce some of them. What happens is you damage them quick, quicker. We found that out on the other RV that we had prior to this one. When I found this membership club, kind of like a Sam's or a Costco, they don't use harsh chemicals and they still do the job. That's what I really love about them. And actually, dude, <laughs> this is so funny. One day he goes, give me some dish soap. And so I get this dish soap out. I mean, he'd been using some other dish soap. He was cleaning out his nasty coffee cup. And anyway, he said, I don't know what you gave me to clean out, but that's the first time I got the stain out. Their dish soap has like no harsh chemicals in it, yet it really cleans as if it was the name brand stuff. And it goes further. It's awesome. Other things they have are wipes. So like in the kitchen, you've got these stone countertops in these. You don't want to put harsh chemicals on these things because you'll damage them and, you'll, and the sheen will go away. We use those other bleach type of wipes, you'll actually harm them. They have a product called Tough and Tender. It also smells good. It doesn't smell goofy and, you know, bleachy. And you can use it in your microwave. It'll actually polish all the stainless. It takes care of all of our stone, our kitchen. Now this is not for disinfectant, just for wiping things off. They have a different product for that. And that one, this is how it all began, was this product. It's called Sawyer Guard. And it is approved by the EPA for disinfecting against COVID. And that's why, where it all began. We also use this when we're out on dump sites and things to spray our feet. But when you need to sanitize things, it won't damage your products. You do want to be careful though on granite and things. If it's not sealed, you've got to be careful with this one. You may not should use it. It depends on the product. More products that we get to clean the RV kitchen with is... In addition to the tough and tender, what I really like is they have spray bottles. Get a concentrate of the product and then you fill it up about that far. They have little measurements on the side. Fill it up with water. So I might get five or six bottles out of one of these little concentrate bottles. In other words, it's a lot less expensive than going to the store. By being a member, you get member pricing. They have, they have even food and makeup and color. They have all kinds of stuff. They also have Bella Magic 
wipes that also are for harder core things like your grill outside when your gr grill gets all nasty that's what this one does and of course everyone's got glass and of course your rv bathroom and then things to help with your leather or your faux leather things like that they've even got um, wipes for those and they also have bottled products the concentrate for all of these as well one last thing i really love <clears throat> Because when you're on the road, you're eating lunch, you're running by the gas stations, things like that, and you don't have your onboard water working or you didn't fill your tank, guess what? They even have, defense, they're called Clear Defense, and they're hand sanitizer wipes. And we just keep these. They come in a box. We just keep them. We keep them up in the front of the RV, so we always have something to clean our hands with. I even use these because of our dogs. Because one thing with these products it won't harm our dog. I'm sure dude has shared how much I care about our little puppies. Are they hypoallergenic? I don't know if it's hypoallergenic. I'm not the expert on these products. I just have some of them I've used and I haven't had any problem, but I haven't had any problem with burning their feet or anything like that, like bleach products. Fine out. They have floor stuff. They have everything. This is just some of the products we use. But you know, if, if you want more information, we are members. If so, if we share this and someone else becomes a member too, we earn a little bit of money. We don't get wealthy by using it, but these products are great. And you know, I've been using them now almost two years, and we just wanted to share that with you. Dude's gonna put a place below. Put it in the comments. Reach out to us at DudeRVTexas at gmail.com. There'll be a link down in the description below. I'm not the dude. I'm just yappy. I have to say, I really enjoy these things, and it's really critical when you're on site, you know, campsite, that you take care of washing your hands and having, you know, things when you don't have water to wipe your hands to protect you and your family from all the grime out there. Anyway, y'all have fun for me. So, so real quick before we go, let me, I'm gonna ask her a few questions about cleaning the RV kitchen. If I wanna clean the microwave in the RV kitchen, which would be the ideal product for us? There's about three of these you can use. That's the great part. It depends on the level of dirt. You can use our Tough and Tenor. You can use the Mellow Magic. You can even use the Clear Power, Power, which is like Windex, but without all those harsh chemicals, even some disinfectant. If I'm cleaning the RV kitchen outside, which would be the ideal product? Probably for you out on that flat top, this product. And again, all these have the concentrate with them. You probably will use some of this because I spray this on dude's feet when we come into the RV so he can't bring in stuff where the dogs can get sick or ourselves. Apparently I have dirty shoes. Evidently. And then of course the all general all purpose soap, you know, dish soap works great on a lot of things. So many different uses and they've got so many other products I'll probably be sharing with you as I use them. I've really learned to enjoy them. I hope that helps you, dude. How do we clean the RV kitchen? So now we've learned about how to clean the <laughs> RV kitchen. The link is in the description below. If you want to learn more about these products and this online buying club thing, this is over my head. This is outside of my pay grade. All right. <laughs> That brings us to the end of our video. Tell us how that makes you feel, seeing Yappy on a video. Are you excited about this new playlist? Tell us down below. If you found some value in this video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Blast us out on your social media. If this is your first visit to Dude Derby, we'd be honored. Subscribe. See, she would be honored too. Please consider subscribing. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. We are most deeply honored. And for the patrons, you guys rock. Bye now. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear?